You sure know your boxing. Well, all I know is never bet on the white guy. I saw an article the other day and I was going to do a video on it then I couldn't be bothered and I thought to myself do you know what it's actually noteworthy because a lot of people out there hate Tyson Fury and they're looking at ways to I don't know throw dirt on his name to be fair it's actually calmed down a lot since Alexander Usyk beat him but let's just say Tyson Fury has quite a few people out there who dislike him and it's kind of beyond boxing it's not like they dislike the boxer and the way he boxes they hate him as a man hate him as a human being etc etc for whatever reasons and listen it is what it is people are not going to like him whatever I ain't here to fight his corner or anything I don't really care but I do think this is quite interesting because even if you hate Tyson Fury's guts and you want him to be splattered by a lorry or whatever i don't even know what right even if you're of that mindset and that opinion even you will see an issue with what i'm about to raise here and if you don't i don't even know what to say man this channel isn't for you off you go have a good life so i haven't deep dived into anything and there may be a reason for the actions the ibf have taken but long story short if you take it on face value and it is what it is and it is true then tyson fury is getting absolutely shafted by the ibf and it's not really fair to be honest with you guys now the situation is this Tyson Fury has basically said that he will not fight Daniel Dubois for the IBF title. He doesn't want anything to do with the IBF. They're biased against him. They don't like him, etc., etc. Now, when I saw the headline, originally I thought, our oh, Tyson Fury is a G. He's thinking back to 2015 when the IBF stripped him for no reason as soon as he won the fight, like the day after or whatever it was. Maybe he's just holding a grudge and that's why he's not fighting for the IBF. I respected that and I thought, you know what, that's what I would have done to the IBF. I wouldn't have fought for their belt either. But then I read the article and it's nothing to do with back in 2015. This is recently and to be fair, it's almost as messed up as what they did back then. So even if you hate Tyson Fury, dislike him, not a fan of him or whatever. And even if you don't rate him that highly as a boxer, right? You have to say on his worst day, top five in the world. That's even if you hate him. But realistically, he's number two in the world officially. And if he beats Alexander Usyk December, he will be number one in the world. It's not really a debate. It is what it is. So it's kind of messed up for him not to be in the IBF rankings. Like he's nowhere in the top 15. And he's got issues with that because why wouldn't he be in the IBF top 15 rankings? And it's not a case of he's fighting Alexander Usyk so he won't be in their rankings. I don't think so because he's ranked in all the other governing bodies. He's like number one or number two in every other governing body but doesn't get a top 15 ranking with the IBF. I make Tyson Fury right to have an issue with that. Fair enough, he may have history of the IBF. Maybe they don't like him, but I don't think it's fair to get political and not rank someone because you're not a fan of them. Some people might say, well, he doesn't pay sanctioning fees. Maybe he hasn't because he was a WBC champion, but in the last fight, sanctioning fees were paid. It was an IBF sanctioned fight and Tyson Fury was in it. Losing that fight, in my opinion, should put him in the IBF rankings along with everyone else. I'll give you guys an example. Anthony Joshua lost to Daniel Dubois recently. He's still ranked in the IBF. And when was the last time he paid sanctioning fees to the IBF? So it's not about fees that have been paid. I don't even know what it's about, but if there's not a valid reason, I mean, there might be. I didn't deep dive into it. Maybe someone can enlighten me. But if there's not a reason for Tyson Fury to be excluded from the top 15, then I think that's a little bit harsh. I think he's definitely a top 15 fighter. He's definitely a top 5 fighter. And if they're not ranking him deliberately and they've got an agenda against him, that's kind of out of order. And if, as I say, if you've got no issues with that, then I don't know what to say to you. Because at the end of the day, think what you want about the guy. Hate him as much as you want or whatever. Don't tell me he's not a top 15 fighter heavyweight boxer because that's where the conversation stops there's no debate to be had if you're not acknowledging that he's number two in the world or at least top five in the world so yeah to summarize Tyson Fury basically said he'll fight Daniel Dubois but he won't fight for the IBF belt so if Daniel Dubois is champion and wants to fight Tyson Fury then it may well mean that Daniel Dubois may have to vacate the strap to get that mega payday that comes with fighting Tyson Fury but at the same time we all do know that Tyson Fury sometimes speaks without thinking or doesn't deliver with what he says he's gonna do like this IBF thing to one side weren't he the one who said get the WBC diamond belt on the line and I'll fight Dillian White or something and then next day the WBC tweeted that they'll be up for it and then Tyson Fury went on to fight like Otto Wallin or someone else after that so take everything he says with a pinch of salt obviously and also if you read the landscape and think forward a couple fights if Tyson Fury versus Daniel Dubois is going to materialize it's going to materialize under two terms either Tyson Fury beats Alexander Usyk and he's got the free straps and they go for undisputed again so at that point Tyson Fury I can't see him saying no 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 don't make it for undisputed. Get the IBF belt out of here. Let's just do it for the unified. And then if he loses to Alexander Usyk, he'll be coming as the challenger. And as a challenger, are you really going to talk someone out of 
vacating their belt. Look how proud Daniel Dubois is of being the world champion. So I think the only way Daniel Dubois might vacate for a potential Tyson Fury fight is if Tyson Fury's got the other three belts. But then why would he vacate and ruin Undisputed? So I think that Tyson Fury is just annoyed at the IBF and I think rightfully so. But in reality, the chances are he's just speaking off of emotions. And when it comes down to it, I don't think he'll follow through with what he's saying. Just my opinion. You're more than welcome to yours. Laters.